Hi everyone, my name is Malika and I'm from Chicago and today I'll be teaching you all how to make this beautiful dreamy layout using some great supplies by DMC. For this we will be using the beautiful floral symphony collection. I've selected my papers and the next thing which I'm going to be doing is making layers out of papers. For this I'm taking another paper which is a little contrasting and I'm going to do some fussy cutting around this paper. You can see that I have fussy cut my paper and I have added a layer on the bottom of the base sheet and now I am taking the middle section and I am trying to add that to my paper. It contrasts very well and all we need to do is de-stress the edges. For that first what I do is basically fold my paper using some water. Water is always going to make my paper a little soggy and easier to fold it and after that uh, you'll see me that I am using some de-stress ink to give it a toned effect. Uh, this uh, step adds a lot of definition to my projects and I like doing it because it gives a very nice shabby vintage look which is the whole essence of my style. Make sure you de-stress all the edges and after that take some clear gesso, the one which I am using is by Prima Marketing and apply it on top of your paper. I always use clear gesso on my pattern papers such that my pattern would not hide and my paper gets a good protective shield on which I can add my colors. Once the clear gesso is dry, I am taking some beautiful stencils by DMC and using some paper texture paste, I will be applying it all over my paper. These stencils are so good guys, they have come up with beautiful designs and I think you all should try them out. I am going to list down this particular stencil uh, below in my description box and make sure you check it out. The next step is giving some colors to your layout and for this I decided to use my shakers. Guys, essentially all the colors are kind of same, you know, I mean just there's a little quality difference in all of them. But you know, shakers, acrylic paints, if you have any, just use any of them. Like you don't need to have a particular thing to make a particular, you know, style. So for this particular one, what I did, I just applied some shakers because I bought them and I wanted to use them. And, and applying it on top of my texture, like the paper, paper texture paste such that a beautiful color shows up and then you can see me clearly that I'm applying some splatters of the paint and in the end I'm adding some frozen jack, jack frost a white color which is highly pigmented such that it gets the whole very dreamy shabby chic effect. Now comes my favorite part which is kind of my signature step. I always take some white gesso and black gesso separately, use my tail brush and splatter it, splatter it all around the page and I kind of feel my page gets a lot of definition with this step. Now let's assemble the entire layout and for that I'm using layers of papers, uh, de-stressing them, tearing them apart at different different angles such that the whole uh, composition looks beautiful and uh, the chipboard which I'm using is I think from Dusty Attic and I've used Lindy's Gang embossing powder to emboss it. You can use any embossing powder, you can use any chipboard as per your like and just keep on constructing the entire composition. Thank you. 
on the side what I'm using is basically a feather mold and using some air dry clay I have made some molds and uh, they are absolutely beautiful and I completely love the results to give my layout a more layered and a more fuller look I'm using a black thread which actually gives a lot of uh, depth and um, always make sure you stack small chipboard pieces together so that you can give height to your embellishments that makes a lot of difference guys make sure you do that step the little paper embellishments which you see me using are basically from the same collection and again i have listed it down below i bought these uh, starfishes like starfish shells from my local craft store and they absolutely adorn my project and you see that beautiful uh, terracotta basket vv basket uh, this is again from dress my craft and it is an absolute delight to use that and now to give more texture to my layout i'm using some dry moss and for that i'm applying some soft matte gel and on top of it i'll apply my dry moss and it will give it a very nice grassy effect do you see the beautiful dry moss effect guys it is so beautiful and recently they have come up with, come up with some more colors make sure you guys check it out and make sure you use it on your projects uh, uh, so to mute it down you will see me that further you know on this dry grass i'm using a little bit of white splatter paint because i want everything to blend into each other you know i understand guys sometimes we feel that we want to like you know doing a certain thing might might hide the beauty of that product just the way it came but trust me it is very important to maintain a balance and achieve that balance As you can see my composition process is very simple it looks a little intimidating when you look at it uh, from the top but if you see me creating it uh, each step you'll see that everything which I do is fairly simple I try to add uh, as many elements as I can because uh, but making sure that the balance is not uh, you know compromised and there are times when you'll only see a peak of stuff not the entire stuff you know there's a whole beauty in showing a peak in the end you'll see me that i'm putting some art stones and these are by prima um, on my layout to finish the look and uh, one part which i forgot to shoot is basically when i add a beautiful uh, glitter from dnc on top of my flowers and I also added some micro glitter uh, which you will see in the completed project picture and in the end when everything is done always make sure you cover the picture with tissue and sprinkle your white paint all around uh, this is very important because it will give you such a nice dreamy shabby chic look you'll actually see the difference you know so try doing that and I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it Please do leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have lots of exciting things coming up. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.